Summarize what he has said. Uh, the Bible says, but you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people, that you should show forth the praises of him who has called you out of darkness into his motherless light. And verse 10 says, which in the time past we are not a people, but are now the people of God, which had not obtained mercy, but now have obtained mercy. Praise the name of the Lord. In the time that was past, we were not a people, but now we are the people of God. Amen. We are acceptable. Praise the name of the Lord. We have been called a chosen generation. And when the Bible talks about chosen, it means in the midst of many, God chose you. In the midst of many, God selected you. You are a chosen generation. Praise the name of the Lord. A story is told about a man who had gone for war. And one time when it was time for him to come back home, he called and asked his parents, I am coming home, but I have a friend. But my friend got really injured in the war. He lost his leg, he lost his hand, he lost his one eye. And I want to come with his friends so that we live together. And the mom was like, it's okay, he can come and live with us for just for some weeks. And the son was like, no, I mean, I want my friend to come and live with us. He said, yeah, we can try to accommodate him for like three, six months, and then, you know, if he is as disabled as we're talking about, that means that it's gonna be a lot of work, it's gonna be a lot of inconveniences. And the son hung up the phone. Two days later, they received a telegram that the son had committed suicide. And when they got the body, they realized it was the son who didn't have one leg, who didn't have one hand, who didn't have one eye. He was talking about himself. But when he called, the parents did not have room to accept him. Praise the name of the Lord. The one thing I know about God, when God chooses you, it doesn't matter, as our brother was telling us, where you have been through. It doesn't matter the injuries you got on the way. It doesn't matter how broken you came before the Lord. But when you come before the Lord, he accepts you. Praise the name of the Lord. Tell your neighbor, I am acceptable. <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord. And he has continued to talk about that we are valuable. generation. Praise the name of the Lord. And the Bible speaks about we are a royal priesthood. When the Lord chose you, he did not just choose you for the sake of choosing you, but he chose you because he needs people who can show forth praise to him. He needs people who can serve him. He needs people who can become priests on the earth. The Bible says in Revelation chapter 5 and verse 9 that there has been found one who can break the seal because he bought God people from all nations, from all tongues, from all tribes, from all clans. He bought them and they became God's property. You are God's property. Praise the name of the Lord. And the reason why we were bought, we were bought so that we may become priests. And what do priests do? Priests give sacrifices. Praise the name of the Lord. Tell your neighbor, you are a royal priesthood. Yeah, you are there to offer sacrifices of praise to the Lord. You are there to offer sacrifices of worship to the Lord. You are a priest. And another thing that made God buy us by the blood of his son is so that we may become kings to reign on earth. What do kings do? Kings give orders. Kings say what is going to be done. Praise the name of the Lord. You have been bought. You have been given the mandate to reign on earth. Whatever happens in your family, it's by your command. When you understand how valuable
Bible you have, you can say a word and it shall be established. You can say, I refuse to be rejected and rejection will go away. You can say, I refuse poverty and poverty will go away. You can say, I refuse rebellion in my house and rebellion will be silenced in the house. Because God has bought you with a price so that you may become a priest and a king. Praise the name of the Lord. So we are valuable. And, uh, and you're also capable of doing all that God has assigned you to do. Praise the name of the Lord. A story is told about a president who went to visit a nursing home. And you know, like those people who go to nursing homes, they're the elderly. Some, most of them really understand even know who the president is. But it happens that there was one woman who was seated at the corner she was not excited about what people are excited about. And the president wanted to know, doesn't she know who I am? And the president went to the woman and asked the woman, do you know who I am? And this is what the woman said, no, I don't. But when you go up there at the nurse station, they will tell you who you are. <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah, some people may not even know who you are. But if they ask Jesus, Jesus knows who you are. Jesus knows who you are because he paid the price for you. I'd like us to stand before the Lord. If you are feeling down, if you are feeling like, I don't really feel like, Jesus knows who you are. He knows the price he paid. He cares for you. He has given you the ability to do that which he has assigned you to do. And we are going to pray that the Lord is going to give us strength. The Lord is going to give the youth strength to become priests and kings in their generation. Because we are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a special people to God. Let's stand on our feet. One worship song as we go before the Lord.
never realized how much the Lord paid for you the price. And maybe you have never made a confession that Jesus, I want you in my life. I want you to be Lord over my life. And today you're saying, I have known that you love me. I have known that you care about me. One more story as I come to a close. A story is told about a man who adopted a rebellious girl. She had problems, emotional problems, and she was really rebellious. And one day, he came home and found that the girl had stolen all the precious things in the house and had gone to a pawn shop and sold. And most of the people told him, don't even finalize the adoption. Don't. Because she's going to just be a problem. But this man said, I told her I will be her father. And I am going to keep my promise. And that's the same way that God is saying. He said that he's going to be your father. He said that you are his son. It doesn't matter how many times you've rebelled. It doesn't matter how many times you've moved away from the way. He is there ready to forgive. He is there ready to welcome you back with open arms and with great love. If you're here and you'd like to say yes to Jesus, you can just show me by the raising of your hand that we're going to pray together. In Jesus' name, I'm giving you this chance. All eyes closed, we are in the presence of the Lord. If you're here, thank you for that hand. Thank you for that hand. You're here and you're saying yes to Jesus. Thank you for that hand. Thank you for that hand. Just find your way and come up here front. Find your way, take steps, come, come closer to Jesus. Just take, take